Right, welcome everybody up to session number eight, I'm led to believe. And uh, our featured game is Stanley's own Brett Arkley against John Caswell. Who's that in the box with you, Richard? <laughs> Someone, we've got a, a guest commentator in. It's uh, Alex Marshall's nephew. Hello, lads. <laughs> <laughs> Dean Reaver. We watched him this morning. Um, he was outstanding. So welcome, Matt. Thank you very much. You just uh, enjoy it, chip in. It's a pleasure. Uh, we, after watching you this morning, I'm surprised that you're sitting next to us. <laughs> I know. I, I slipped up the second game. I didn't play very good. Um, to be honest, the better player won the second game. Right. I just couldn't quite get my weight. Um, the, it was on the opposite end rink. It was a wee bit different to rink eight here. The ditch side was a little bit more unplayable, um, and the rink two side. You felt you could grass it as much as you wanted, but there were some funny runs, but I just didn't quite catch it. The, better, catch pl it. the better player won, he played better than I did. I think you've been unlucky to get two end rings. Ah, uh, yeah. To, to be honest. I, I, to be honest, I never really had that sort of draw on the PB. I've always been sort of lucky with getting a middle rink. Yeah. Um, but I, to be honest, it worked in my favour the first game. Uh, played pretty well in the end rink the first game. I didn't have to play a ditch side, which was a bonus playing with grooves. Um, a wee bit of swing our ball. But no, it, it went all right. The first game went pretty well. Uh, obviously Lloyd sort of struggled a little bit yeah. he said to me Sel, obviously he's from South Africa he, he doesn't really play indoor yeah. he's uh, used to playing outdoors which will be a completely different ball game to this so he was in the back foot straight you, away you hit your strap straight away like I must admit aye ah, definitely you could, could have closed your eyes at, at, at one time mm -hmm. um, especially the inside hand you, you just nailed it aye it was, it. it was just getting my weight the line was always there it was just, it was just yeah. making sure I got my weight correct but the, the set's format's funny because you can have a good first set and then you start from scratch for your second set. Don't you? Exactly. So you, you've got to keep switched on. It's like even even first set, can you won quite comfortably? It was like I knew myself. It's like I lost a two the first end the second set. You think right here we go. You can go tie break straight away. It doesn't matter what the score was the first set. Yeah. Same same scenario. My first set, the, my second game, I was six 0 done, and happened to manage to come back to be six five line two. Can your line set match lie? Um, and. Um, Lewis played a great ball. He played a brilliant ball to win the set. Yeah. And then you're on the back foot because he, he started off well in the second set as well. Yeah. So we're struggling all the way through the second game. Exactly. Been, it, it, what we've noticed with this end rink is that it seems as if whoever wins the first set, apart from you again, whoever wins the first set seems to lose the second set. Yeah. No, <laughs> I, I noticed that. I was watching the McCrory Calvert Allison game. Yeah. Uh, obviously, both two guys from my club, both good players. Um, John obviously qualified a few times in this. I thought, I thought personally, once he won the first set, that he would see at the second set at least a draw. But uh, no, Calvert done really, really well, especially yeah. when I set against John because John's a great singles player. Going to set you up straight away. Hey, you mind you? Is that right? You won the voice. <laughs> <laughs> so the, there's come, a, on, <laughs> come on, tell the story. There's a story behind that. Um, so. <laughs> As you know, as you know, Richard, I was out in Ayrshire last weekend, and um, the funny story was there was a club in there was a club in Ayrshire. I can't even the name off the top of my head, but there was a party on there, and uh, we managed to convince everybody there, including the live band, that I'd won the Voice in 2019. <laughs> <laughs> now I couldn't think to save myself. But it, was, it was a great laugh. It was um, it was it was really funny. Uh, the folk were coming up taking photos of me, wanting me, wanting me, wanting shaking my hand, everything. Oh, it was brilliant. Um, it was a really, really good laugh. <laughs> uh, but we had to sort of run away because they decided to stop the live band to, <laughs> let, me, to let me go up and sing. <laughs> <laughs> and um, oh, I, just, I had to say, like, I've no warmed up. I've, I've drank all day. My throat's, my throat's knackered. <laughs> but no, um, oh, it, it was a great laugh. It was yeah, really, really funny. The party was saying, go on, get up, get up. Get up. <laughs> uh, I went through one time because... There was there was a woman left her phone on the table when she came to take a photo of me. She took a photo and put her phone down. So I had to go back through the main hall where her phone to gear it back and I gave her it back. She's like, That's him, that's the boy, he won the voice. <laughs> and obviously I just got swarmed with folk coming up shaking my hand like, Oh you're a brilliant pal, I recognise you, you were so good. And obviously I've I've not been on the voice, so the folk were just slaving and it was really, really funny. Um but it was it was it was really funny. Yeah. Uh, it was off the back of a of a really fun poker night. Um, right. Obviously, we had a few drinks, so that was the whole, the whole agenda with the uh -huh. with the laugh, um, making up on the spot. It was a good laugh. It was funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, if this game finishes early, you can do a little bit, a little bit. Yeah, no, <laughs> if need be. 
<laughs> that's actually the, the funny side of it as well obviously with being uh, Tati's nephew when, whenever he wins at Potter's he always sings a song right. well he calls it peaches and cream right. but it, it's actually called you're 16 you're beautiful and you're mine by Red and Go Star right. so he always sings that and that was the first song that came to my head when somebody said what song did you sing to win it so right. Right. I'd say oh I want to be singing peaches and cream <laughs> it was uh, it was, it was uh, the first song that came to my head I couldn't think of anything else uh, I also thought hands down hopefully they can't find this song because it was an older song <laughs> but <laughs> but yeah that was the whole story behind it ah great yeah, it was funny <laughs> anyway the game that we're covering now uh, is obviously Brett Hartley playing John Carswell now you'll know a little bit about John I'm yeah take it. fellow Scotsman John um, yeah I, I know John obviously being out in Ayrshire last weekend I know I've seen John that weekend um, his son Chris as well um, good player as well. He was playing today. He got binned out the first round, unfortunately. But no, John's still going strong. He's a really, really good player. Yeah. He's obviously qualified a few. Th- I think he said to me eight times he's qualified. Really? Out of the PB, I think so. In the mix of pairs and singles, uh-huh. I don't know that as a start, but yeah. uh, he's qualified definitely a few times. We do, we do need factuals game it on here. <laughs> no, no, that's <laughs> we just, fine. We we'll just take <laughs> We're making it as a goal. We'll see. Right? We'll see. We'll go wait. Yeah, we'll go with it. We'll see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, John's playing um, Brett Hartley, and he's he's Mr. Stanley at the minute. He's, he's very warm on this green. He's a very quiet fella. He's, he's qualified previously. No, a great player. Yeah, I've seen him play a couple of times. I think at Carlisle. I'm right. sure he's played there a couple of times. Yeah. He's a really, really good player. Uh, he's, he used to support the, um, the the Premier Threes when that was on the go, and obviously the Open Signals. Yeah, um, no, a great player. So, that, I think John's found the side gully there by that thud. Uh, that's not so good. I've seen a couple in the trial end, but I didn't want to say anything. Uh, I don't know whose they were. Well, Could Darren, they... Darren Weir actually had three in the side. So, I, I actually practiced with Darren and Rinky yesterday because we, we both knew we were on it first game. Uh-huh. And uh, I was actually 4 1 up against Darren, so Darren put four in the side, which I only put one. And I'll, I have to say, I'll put it there just to make him feel better. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wouldn't normally do it myself. <laughs> but yeah, I four went up on Darren. I think he had four in the game as well, he told me. Yeah. Which is a... Uh, <laughs> it, it's funny because you, you, you tend to find if, if you stick a one in the gully, then you stick another one in, you, it goes upstairs. You sort of say, oh, shying away from playing that hand. Oh, yeah, yeah. You fear to go any higher. You, you think you've got to be tight and you end up being a foot tight and you get punished on this side as well. Yeah. This rink, it is tricky. If you don't go close to the ditch, you're, you're punished. That's why folk are going to the side ditch. So, like, I'm assuming it was John here, yeah. John in the side ditch. He knows he sell it. If if you're on the if you're on the lip of the ditch, you're perfect. That's the thing. But um, I am sure, I'm sure John's son Chris actually told me that he got beat 22 0 of Tommy Coombe, which I was really surprised at because uh, John obviously a cracking singles player yeah he, he almost he almost qualified in the pairs earlier in Falkirk as well he got beaten in the final um, in Falkirk he, he played really really well we got beaten in the semis actually me and a boy for Glasgow Stephen Lowry nice I played with him in that um, we've done well we played actually played Jason JP in the in the, the quarter final with Andrew Barker uh, we had a great run uh, every game was a tough game. Every game got harder, obviously, as it does in the PB. Yeah, it's a great event. Well, John's on the back foot early doors, mate. Well, Definitely two, three down, I think. Favor, a favor, three. Uh, I think that John's at the back. What's John's at the back? When the so side ditch has been a killer for him. Yeah. See what he does with his last. Is he going to be a rival or is he going to sit on the draw, mate? What do you reckon? I reckon he'll try and draw it. Yeah. I think even if he gets to the front bowl, he's, he's guaranteed just about second shot if he falls forward. Yeah. Um, I can't see him playing with weight. The bonus with John is that he can play any shot. Oh, he's playing with weight. Oh, yes, there you go. He went under the club. <laughs> <laughs> he's close. About to wipe in a Inside few the edge of that, he's. Oh, he's unlucky. Oh. Definite three now. You would have thought if he, when he'd hit that, he wouldn't have lost a three, would you? No, no at all. He was in the area, yeah. maybe a fraction high, but if you're feared to go tight on these rinks because they do, they do go really quick if you've got weight. Yeah. Dusty work. Let's go and take. <laughs> I give you a wee shout early. 
<laughs> I put your balls in the side ditch. <laughs> So how long have you been bowling then? Oh, to be honest, um, I played properly outdoor my first season was when I was nine. Right. And I actually won the youth championship at my little club I play at. Um, the first year I played, which got me hooked straight away. As soon as you, the first year you play, if you've got some sort of trophy, you're, you're hooked. You can't, you can't no play after that. Um, when I was younger, like I mean, like really young, like, uh, we used to have these wee carpet bowls. Used right. to play with them in the house. Oh, um, right now. They were they were good fun. Yeah. Um, that Jack actually shouldn't he be there? That's on the back tee. Is she right? Yeah. Should, should be on the front tee. She slipped up fairly. What sh do we say then? It's not right, eh? Oh, I'm, I'm saying nothing. I don't know. I'm, I'm sure Jason's listening to the commentary. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if Jason will hear it or no. Uh, well, I think it's uh, yeah. We'll just I'll let it run. Ah, let we'll let it run. <laughs> I'll, feel, I'll feel bad for whoever loses a shot. <laughs> oh, he's, he's Brett's noticed. That's all. Oh, the Jack on the three-minute Oh, it's on the wrong side. Oh. Oh. Send the balls back. The Jack needs to play on the side. Yeah. We're more switched on the umpires. Ah, uh, yeah, you switched on. Side, dude. You've got. <laughs> uh, Brett must have been a hotline to us, mate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll have to be careful I, what we're saying. He's yeah. got us in his earpiece. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's he's, he's watching what we're saying about him. <laughs> Fighting the same now because he flattened his wall. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, the only reason I noticed that is because uh, my second game, there was a couple of times there was an attempt by the marker to put it on the back tee, and we, we both noticed, which was a good thing. Right. But yeah, that was. Um, I just a little couple of slip ups to the marker, but. Obviously, we've seen one there from an experienced marker because uh, the woman there, she was an umpire on the 25 series. I remember her playing when, when I played here at Stanley. She was the umpire there as well, so she, she knows what she's doing. It's yeah. not. It's just a just a mistake. Obviously, everybody makes mistakes. I think we're going to get a lot of a lot of questions. Is that Tatty's nephew on the? <laughs> <laughs> it might be, it might be. <laughs> Alex, if you want to confirm that, uh, you could be an imposter, mate. If you the, the one that matters is Tati's niece because she's the one that's still in the competition. Um, <laughs> she's the one that's doing well. She beat, she beat uh, Lewis, who beat me. So there's only there's only one bowler in the family right now. <laughs> it's disowned, yeah. It's just you. You're back on the Christmas card list. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be watching best game next. She's on the, she's on this rink rink eight next. Is she? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not entirely sure who she plays, mainly because I've not looked at the draw. Um, but hopefully she can do the damage and win the game again. She's been playing well so far, playing really well. Better than me, obviously. <laughs> I would just say that Jason. It's great to see the young ones taking part. You know, playing, playing Aye, competing. De definitely, level. it's great. The the best bit is, is that we've all got confidence. We all know that we can we can beat these players. It's um, it's not a case of oh I'm playing a big name. I'm, yeah. I'm worried. It's it's like Ken, what? It's a game of bowls. You'll go out. You'll try your best. Yeah. You can only you can only yeah, do. Yeah, you've got four you bowls the same as somebody else, haven't you? So. Exactly. And it's um, in the day close to the jack wins the end. That's, that's right. all you need to do. If you win seven ends, you win a set. That's right. And then you've got a tie break. You're guaranteed a chance. As we know, end, you could never play bowls in your life, you could still win a tie break. Ending end this planet could win two ends in a row. Yeah. Which I think is good because you, you know yourself, you play 21 up and you, you say, if it's about 18 4, well, it's, it's nine times out of 10, it's going to be game over, isn't it? Whereas the, the sets. Exactly. Especially if you're playing 21 up as well, first 21, you could turn up here a day and you could play, like, said David Bolt, you could play, like, your uh, John McCrory, you could play. Um, Colin Walker, you're you're struggling. Yeah. You can twenty one up. You're you're toiling. Yeah. But a set play, it's there for MD to win. You could be the better player, and you know you know you're there to get beat as well. Yeah. It's uh, it works both ways. It's really good. Yeah. I, I like I like the set play. Yeah, I think it's it's a good format. Um, but I I'll say when you get the Potters, I'll say it's nine ends of set, which is a wee bit different. You've got more. There's probably more chances for the better player. I would say. Um, but obviously that's why it's at Potters, because if you didn't get the Potters if you're not a good player. Yeah. Oh, I think 
John's Lion one at the back. Definitely go. one. Oh, that's a that's a rare. You see Mr. Arkley going in the side gully. What's going on there, Mr. Arkley? Oh, that's <laughs> Luckily, I've got <laughs> we've got that on streaming as well. That'll be played back. What happens next? <laughs> At least I can see I never done that on stream. <laughs> <laughs> if MDS I never done it at yeah, all. So, it uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's the best bit about it. I was so chuffed when I, I basically avoided the ditch hand when I played. Um obviously I got sort of free reign to draw or whatever. Yeah. It was uh, it was ideal the, the non ditch side was open yeah. all the time. He's got the line but I think he's he's left it up the wicket. One on the board. Three to one, two ends, folks. John with the jack. He's got a wee chance. Favour John, he's had out of lead. He played lead in the pairs right. at Falkirk as well. So as soon as he's got the jack in his hand, he's a dead to play at the beat. Matt up the wicket as well now. Drop the mat up. See what we can do. I played with Robert Gordon, the pairs, uh, Flash is on rank two just now. Um, they got beat by John McCutcheson, who was skipping, and Chris McGreedy. Chris McGreedy, they put out, uh, me and Stephen Loud out in the nice. semi final. Um, from what I've heard, it was a really good final. Um, I went to a tie break. But aye, John, John, my first ball with the Jack, he's really, really deadly. Out of your breath. Yep. Oh, Just about any contact, he made the shot. Just travel through. You left the ball to you and tell him he's got half. I will, mate. Got half each. Right, right champion, mate. You're right, that screwy thing to start with is a bit rubbish. Yeah. <laughs> it did make you feel sick when I was watching it. So, yeah, good call. <laughs> you must be pleased with the stream. It's going actually it's really well when I was watching it. Yeah, yeah, it's going good, mate. It's going really good, Mark. Going really good. Just, um, <laughs> The battery life, that's just keeping an eye on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just keeping it charging. Yeah, but keep it going. I should go and watch later in the Go on there. Take care. Right, cheers. See you later, Matt. Right, it's not far away there. Almost Jack High. John's the line, at least the one. Thinks he's short. He's up the wicket, man, yeah. Just a wee bit. It's always good when you're doing the stream and then people come up and talk to you. Aye. <laughs> you don't know whether to be rude. Yeah, you don't know what to say. <laughs> we, we just started doing it outdoors um, to do sort of like some county competitions as well. Um, and it's always in the sun and day that everybody just used to come up and talk to us. Aye, no, it's just, brilliant. Just stand That's what you want, though. You want, you want an input from folk that are yeah. sitting on the side as well. I mean, I. I like the way that we do it. It's it's casual, it's informal, and, and you just have a bit of crack on. You know, Aye, no, bit, it's bit relaxed. Crack on. I think it's. You don't feel pressure at having to say certain things. No, it's um, no. brilliant, John. Great ball there. Crack as well as that. That's another thing with John. Whenever he plays a good one, he always beats his ball to the head. Does he's it always, he's always there first. He was there to watch it coming at the top of the head. Watch it coming in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, was, he was he was stood he was stood behind the ring just about. <laughs> Is it Usain Bolt when he plays a good one? Oh. Wanna go? Oh. Brett wasn't far away there. At least all square, possibly John one up. That's a double. <laughs> Two. Three's a piece, three ends. Three, three, three. So what made you take the game up, mate, then? Um, to be honest, just family. Um, every, every day my family plays a sport. Right. Evidently, my uncle plays. Um, but on that, every day else, it, it's like a, a wee village of staying, and um, it's always been a sport that we've always played throughout the time. Um, so I had no choice. I always played other sports as well. I played yeah. like say football, rugby. I played hockey as well. Actually, that right. was another oh, sport right. I played. Um, but now I, everyone led down to bowling. I had to give all of them up one at a time to eventually focus on bowling. Yeah. Which I don't regret. I think it's a great sport. Yeah. Um, 
it's, it's like what you said at the, at the earliest part of the commentary you, you got the hook that Davies yeah. feeling saying if, 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 as soon as you get the hook you, you want to play more you want to play more you can't give it up no. it's, um, it's a great sport yeah especially when you get to play a green like this at Stanley it's a great green yeah. it's a great setup. everything about it's like just perfect um, you know a lot of people here as well even if you don't you come once you, you get to know people it's the yeah. same folk every year it's, it's good it's always a good competition as well every yeah. round gets harder you never get an easy game no. doesn't matter who you play so did you play any of the qualifiers the Falkirk one I'm guessing you I, played, I played the Falkirk one um, I played the singles and pairs at Falkirk the Carlisle was the exact same and then I came down here for the under 25s and then the singles as well my initial uh, thing was to play single pair at Falkirk but I was on a waiting list for Falkirk singles and right. I thought I wouldn't get in because I was like fourth reserve so I said to Jason I was like just put me in the St Stanley singles because I'm playing under 25s and then it ended up being like five people pulled at the Falkirk so I ended up getting in both um, Falkirk singles I played Ian McLean first game and managed to scrape a tie break win um, I played pretty well quite happy with the performance the heating came on halfway through sort of changed the game a wee bit but no it was, it was a really good game I was really chuffed I'll say I played Ian, Ian, Cal Ian, Ian McLean's calibre it's uh, it great to get a result against him yeah. and in the next game I played a, a guy from up north um, I wish I could remember his name but I'm terrible with names but uh, no I won the first set quite comfortably I won the first set 10-1 and the second, second second set I got beat 7-0 I, I lost a 2 the first end and then 5 ones in a row nice. just one ball in the head couldn't do much about it um, guy played brilliant and then tie break, he had a nose at both ends. You can't really beat that, you're it. struggling to beat it. Um, and he went on to win the game. I don't know, I don't think he went any further, I think he maybe got beat the next again game. Which made you feel even better then? A wee bit better. <laughs> Unless he went all the way, then it would be brilliant. Because then you, you can say he would be the winner. Uh, the pairs at Falkirk, we got, obviously, I said earlier, we got to the final four. Got to the semi finals and got beat by two from Falkirk John McCutcheonson and uh, Chris McGreedy, who went on to qualify for Potters. Which obviously feels a wee bit better that you got beat by the ones that qualified. Had we won, we would have played obviously John on screen. The now John and Robert uh, Robert Gordon, Carlisle. Uh, the singles I, I played really good in the singles. I won three games and then I played Trevor Taylor. Obviously home carpet. Yeah. Well, we all know Trevor. Trevor's a great player. Um, we drew the first set. Me and Trevor seven all. Second set got beat six five. But I came off with a smile on my face. I played really really well. And I, I, it's like you prove a point. Yes. Obviously, um, you kind of want to prove yourself in that sort of situation. Yeah. You don't want to just be known as like, oh, that's just Alec Marshall's nephew. You want to actually make yeah. a name for yourself yeah. and prove a point, which helped as well. It went in my favour because obviously uh, Trevor came off and said that I played really well, which yeah. which uh, meant a lot. But no, it was good to see him qualifying that and in the pairs as well. The pairs then they got a plan. We got me and Stephen got beat two one in a tie break the first game. We felt we felt we played better, but um, we were maybe just off the ball a wee bit from the night before yeah but um, nah we gave it a bash just it wasn't quite to be yeah but we'll try again next year yeah well that's good man. do you do much bowling yourself Richard? Um, yeah yeah play, play at Horton I don't, I don't go on for these I just kind of play singles now just, no yeah. team player yeah I, mean, I like I like to play yeah my competitive days are still there but I'm, I'm sort of like yeah Favourite what favourite what format, pairs, triples, fours? I like pairs. Pairs. Like if you had pairs. to pick your dream play, pair player, who would you pick? Um, well, it's probably the lad that's playing. I mean, I played with them. Um, I was lucky enough to play with uh, Gary Smith. Yeah, in, yeah. In the Gary triples. Smith, yeah. And Jimmy Lambert in the, in the, we won the English triples. So, Gary, because he, yep. he, he could ride him on the sixpence, Gary. He can, he can win a game, he, he's brilliant. Yeah. Uh, I've seen him play at Carlisle as well, I've seen him qualify at Carlisle, he's a great player. Yeah, he Never played against him, no. thankfully. No. <laughs> um, I, I played against him singles and I think I got about five or something. Oh, right, yeah. That was many, many years ago, so I probably wouldn't even get five now. Like, but, um, Great, great player. He can, he, he can chuck him on a, on a sixpence, he can. Ah, he's really, really good. I think that's another side wing we've got. Same one from John. John again. Mm. Surprise. Uh, Brett got a one there. Yep. 4 3 to Brett. Um, I'm actually playing on about pairs. I'm playing the 
Pairs final at East Lothian. Um, not this week coming, but the next again week, I'm playing with my uncle. Oh, yeah. uh, we play against Scott Kennedy and Billy Mellors, who just won the Scottish, uh, Scottish Pairs. Right. Done really, really well. Uh, great pair, I have to say myself. Um, obviously, Scott Natchez is an out and out skip. Yeah. But obviously, he can play anywhere. He's a good, great, great player, and Billy Miller's behind you. You can't go wrong, really, as well. Um, fantastic player. I've played third time a few times at East Lothian, and he's great to play with. Um, it's just magic. Yeah. Now, I, I, I naturally play third to Tati now, which is um, even better. It's a great, it's a great um, experience to have. Um, whether you know him or not, yeah, he's he's in my well, eyes well, the best he's ever. He's probably the best ever, isn't he? Yeah, yeah like I you, mean, you, you cannot argue. You can't argue on paper. You can't argue. Uh, obviously, people have their opinions, and obviously, I'll be biased as well. Um, but yeah, in, in my opinion, he's the best ever pick yes. up a ball. I, I, I know a lot of people might um, so agree. Up. Some might disagree, but yeah, and. and th- Probably the, the frustrating thing for him is for what he's achieved in the sport. There's people in other sports, multi-millionaires. Aye. You know what I mean? Uh, Bowles, if you, if you want to make money, Bowles is not the sport. Nah, it? not really. I mean, even if you look at Phil Taylor, I'm, I'm quite into my darts myself. Yes. Um, like Phil Taylor, you look at him, he's won 16 world titles. Tati's won 21. Actually. It's like Phil Taylor, I don't know how much his net worth is, but he's worth oh, a lot a lot of God. money. Oh, without a doubt. Um, Although we did, we were on about um, Dave was why not Alex up about his scooter this morning. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. scooter. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying it'll be a Harley Davidson. It wouldn't oh, be a nice scooter. Yeah. To my knowledge, he's not got a scooter. <laughs> um, I don't know how well he could ride a scooter. I don't know. I need to see him on it before I believe that. Um, I don't we know whether he meant it. On it yeah, you? <laughs> it could have been a motorbike scooter or a razor scooter. I don't really know. Um, be a chopper, man. <laughs> yeah, could be a chopper. Um, but no, I have to say, I've not seen it in his living room, so I can't comment on that just now. <laughs> Until I see it, I'll believe it. <laughs> but no, I, I did see that comment earlier. I had a look at the comments on my, my game earlier on, and i seen that. <laughs> I think Brett's made a couple here. He's probably picked the slack three up there. You can hear Jason Ogden Pete's in the background. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you got ordered pizza, but I didn't get offered. <laughs> I know you didn't get offered. I should have said that. I just passed it over. I was just sat here. There's actually a few people down from my club this weekend uh, from East Lothian. Right. A couple playing just now. Stuart Thompson, Beanie. Uh, is his nickname Beanie? He plays just now. Obviously, we've seen McCrory play Calvert Allison, both from my club as well. You've got Kevin D. Hogan, my wee sister Beth, loads of people from East Lothian. Right. It's, uh, it's a good turnout from our club. A lot of good competition as well, all good players. Yeah, Kev, Kev Cunningham as well. Yes, yeah. Definitely don't come down and make a fool of ourselves. We always put up a fight. Do you play outdoors? Yeah, yeah, I play were you, outdoors. Were you disappointed with the. Um no national championships? I oh. was a little bit, mate. Um, so I played at a club in Trenent, uh, a little town in East Lothian where I stay, mainly because I wanted to play Division 1. So I went to join uh, East Lothian Cooperative Bowling Club, which is called the Store Club. Uh, I played with AIM and I won the championship. I won every tie I played in, so you've got the choice then to go in the main singles and under 25 singles, being 22. And you also get put in the mixed nice. pairs as well. Uh, the two champ- champions go out together. It was a it was a girl from near enough Dal Keith, Megan Grantham, that won. Great player. Um, so to be honest, I probably would have been leading. <laughs> She's better than me. <laughs> so uh, it would have been good to play with her in the pairs uh, to see what well we could do. Because you sort of fancy your chances when you've got a player that's that of that caliber as well. Um, but I'll wait and see. Hopefully, obviously, coronavirus stopped that. Yeah. So. Hopefully that's the case next year. Um, the year we just had, obviously, it wasn't a full season. I just played at the little town I stay at Gifford. Um, I just played in the outdoor ties there, just for just for practice. To be yeah. honest, it's for something to do. There's um, you'd be as well practicing rather than just sitting there just twiddling yeah. your thumbs. So uh-huh. I thought I'd play at Gifford and get a decent season out of it. We played one league game and then struggled to get a team. We've not got the members really, to be honest. Right. 
that was the issue. Uh, but we had a couple of friendly games against a club called Ormerson, and they went really, really well. Um, it was a great laugh. Obviously, a great group of guys from Ormerson as well. I had a few of my mates actually that didn't really play, um, didn't really play bowls. I had them doing trying out, and obviously I had a few practice sessions, and we decided that we'd all play in this friendly game because none to lose. Um, yeah. So a few of my pals played with me in that. Um, but I, they're all keen, they're all keen to take it up again and uh, give it a bash, yeah. which is the main thing because you want you want younger guys to come through. Sure but I, no, it was really good. So I played in the rink with three of my pals that I've never played before, so I played with, it was my pal Max McKinnell, Faustus Skiltonis, and Josh Middlemas was the three I played with. And then my other two pals, Nathan Evans and Owen Whiteside, they played with my dad and my, my granny, actually, in our rink, um, just to try and help make up the numbers and play the game, and it yeah. went really well. Uh, overall, I think we actually won, to be honest. Right. Uh, both our rinks got beat, which didn't really say much, but... Um, <laughs> Overall, we won, which is all that matters. It's a team game, <laughs> but uh, no, it was, it was great, especially for Gifford as well. Getting younger members in, uh, that's what we need. Gifford's got such a, a great heritage as well. You've got Willie Wood, right. came out of Gifford, still plays there, does the green, and obviously Tati. Uh, there's been loads of great players, that obviously just county level and stuff as well that have came out of Gifford. Uh, maybe not so much internationally known, but uh, now we've got a great field of players, great history. John's lying one here. He's got a decent Chasing line after up. this one. I told you every time he plays a good one, he's past yeah, the head. He's going to be past the ball again. Just needs to sit. He's well played. Yeah. I told you. I told you, Richard. Every time he every time he passes his ball, he's good. <laughs> yeah. Could be a three, I think. Three, mate. Seven six after Seven, six. six, six one down, so playing the last for John. There's a question for you, Dean, from Gillian. Pineapple on a pizza? Yes or no? Oh, <laughs> oh that's a cock. I have to say, question, right? Oh, personally, I'm all for it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I do like a ham and pineapple pizza myself. I have to say, um, that'll be a split decision on what that. Um, I didn't mind pineapple. I, I think it goes. I, I do like it. I have to say, it's, it was always the thing I went for when I was younger. Um, so yeah, no, I do like it. I just wind them up and say, well, the pineapple mix is a vegetarian option. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> no, I'd, I'd have to say I do agree, but I think it's, I think it's a great combination. <laughs> from Brett. Very close, Jack. Very close. Oh, cracking ball. Yep. Well played, John. Very good. He was chewing at the bit to run after that one. <laughs> <laughs> Again, it obviously, he knows of the TB rules, you can't go up after your second ball. <laughs> yeah. I would put £5 on being up after his last one this end. Right. Especially if he's lying. Oh, right, it's no far past here. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Tricky one for John to make to here. We're going to have to go on his forehand, mm. aren't we? I can't, I can't see Brett changing unless he's uh, drops in the way. Only with John, is it, he doesn't want to be high or tight, to be honest. If he's high, he's a catch, mm. tight, risk giving the shot away. Mm. Back and in there. Brett will not change his game. Very steady player, Brett. Yeah. Very, very good. It's not bad here. It just needs to run. Just under the line. Just a, the bit of, a wee bit of both. Just about turned that down. Wasn't he far away? Do 
Did you notice it got hot and cold as well? I mean, it's chilly. It's, it's a bit chilly here at the minute. Aye, right? it's not very warm over here. I have to say, but see when you're on the rinks, it's uh, it's really hot. Is it? Uh, I spe- well, I thought rink one was really hot as well. I've seen. Right. I, I can. You can tell you're obviously near the heaters at the far side, but but no, I, I thought it was a lot hotter than what it was playing rink eight. Um, but aye, no, uh, you can definitely feel it when you're on the green, especially when you're what you're wearing the players. I've seen we played. Under 25 series the last time it was played obviously before coronavirus again it was yeah, played it was here up, as well. Yeah, it was red hot. It was, oh, it was, it, was like, it, was, it was like Barbados in a bottle was, it was oh, rotten, it roasting. Was. It was so hot. Um, yeah I came I was, I was sitting at the back. Oh, it was really really hot. It was actually one of the best I've ever played especially in a Scotland series. Yeah, I think um, did you draw against England? Uh, oh, you, we uh, drew overall, yeah. Because we did. I think you, you, you got out of jail and you just came back. Aye, we drew England in one or other two games and England managed to get beat by Wales the last game. Uh, or possibly they got beat by Ireland. Actually, no, I think they did get beat by Ireland because we had to beat them to win. If Ireland beat us, and they would win the series. That's what it was. Yeah. Uh, which was great for Ireland because obviously they, they've been struggling the last couple of years. Yes. Uh, which is great for them to see them, obviously, defeat a side like England uh, we happened to just turn up and I think they just weren't they quite there on the Sunday um, but on their game they could they could definitely do a job yeah well that was a shot shared set that man shared set half a set John got a one he, he would have gotten his partners inside there because he stood in front of the camera he would have gotten the three sevens he'd love to see it in a casino the three sevens And you're playing tomorrow as well, aren't you? Yeah, you playing tomorrow. Fast? I play a, a guy called Josh Rowe, uh, first round tomorrow. So it should be a good game. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. Unfortunately, I've seen a guy, I've seen off of Scotland, Darren Weir, he's in the same half of the section as me. Um, me and Darren are the same age. Uh-huh. Came up all the way through under 18s together. Uh, Darren's a great player. You want to try and avoid playing with, against Darren because he's uh, he can beat Andy. That's the thing. He can beat Andy on the carpet. Um, has he got, well you noticed when he, he played, I think he played three runners in the game against Gary and he, it was a case of, not the speed of the ball, but the, 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 he didn't take much time on the mat with his, yep. with his fight, is that what he does? No, he, all the time, he's very very quick on the mat, Just he, for his runners. he never really stops on the mat, um, he does take his time, uh, especially runners as well obviously, he takes any stride with a runner as well. Um, but he never normally misses, I have to say. Uh, I think obviously I've seen him play a lot better than what he did this morning, yeah. um, which was a shame. Obviously, you kind of want to see everybody from Scotland, from my own point of view, win. Uh, I fancied him to win, especially after he won the first set, because yeah. he was he was five two down, played with two at play yes. and got uh, two fours in the bounce. Yeah. Which I thought would have took um, took the guy by, by a bit of a fright, to be honest, and yeah. he would have put him off. Um, but yeah, no, the guy fought in, played well the second set, got off to a good start again. Yeah. And it ended up taking the set. And then the match, obviously, the tie break as well, 1 2 1. It's a decent line here, decent I think. Decent line, I don't know his pace, man. Not far not away. Too bad at all. Just needs to run a little bit. I think. You want to get the ball? Or is he going to get Oof. the ball? Yeah, he's got the ball. We better extra run. He might have made the shot. Mm. Even a touch of the jack was perfect for him. He's got the two at the other side. Try to find out the Jack Lockhart score. Uh, I don't know that is. Just see if. Have a look at draw, see who it is. Who was at home and who was at. Uh, Jack was at home. I think he lost, the, fir- he must have lost the first set and he's 4 1 down in the second set. 
No, if he won the first set, he's four one up. I think, I, lost, I think he lost the. F see, the, see the rank six. Yeah, it's the the ones above the four. So whoever won the first set is four one up the second set as well. Uh, they must have just got a four. I don't know. I've seen Nicole's throwing the jack just now. I don't know who just got the shot there. I'm not. I'm not entirely sure. We'll we'll get the we'll get there, Julian. We'll get there. Yeah, we'll see the end of, end of this end just now. We'll see who yeah. won the shot. We'll tell who's winning. Start opening there from John. Fred having a little double on this hand now, having a bit of a change. Yes, it's not bad. Yeah, well played. Swapped again. Oh, a little double down his forehand. John still lying shot. Back on that one, he's not happy with that one. Let's see if I can, Julian, I'll see if I can work out about that um, Jack Lockhart game, I'll see if he's home or away. John. Lift on the ball and get three here, eh? Brett. And he's pushing it a bit, he's crossed the ball. We can see Fox plus uh, well. Third rep. Probably be a good three. Three it is. Just looking at the draw, Gillian. I would say Nicole's away in the draw, so she'll be away on the scoreboard. So by my reckoning she won the first set and she's seven one up after three ends in the second set against Jack. Score a three at last end. Yeah. Left himself, he, he bought two no balls. John, halfway up the wicket. Looking slightly comfortable now. She was got next two ends. Two ones does it for the game. over this side again, whether it's, it's done on the pace or... John's got the pace, he's decent here. With a great first oh, ball. Yeah. If 
two really good games on just now. Yeah, Gary Brett did play for England. I know he, he, he did play for England up, up at Stanley. Hey, he's played in a few series. Um, in, his, in his day, mate. A uh, well established player. Yeah. Made his name. He used to be a machine in here late and then he's gone back up the order now and he's still, he still really is. Ah, he's still brilliant. Just overplayed that one, John, down that ditch hand. And lost the ball as well. A bit heavy, John. I don't know if he's maybe tried to chase the head and just a wee bit high. Surprised to see him in the ditch, to be honest. Never normally like that. Not normally really, really deadly with his pace. Yeah. And the Brits up the wicket. Mm. Well, that lead him first John to go probably quicker if he's thinking of me up. I thought as much. He's on a decent line going by the screen. He's it's close to the jack. The for the white. Oof. Oh. Wasn't he far away? He's unlucky there. He's, uh, he's made his bed. I think he's going to be running again with his second one. His last ball, I mean. I'm entirely sure how David's getting on on rank four. I think he's possibly winning. I think, I think he's 4-1 he, up. I think he just lost a one. I think yeah, he's 4-1 up in the first set. set. Slight oh. edge there. How do you like your eggs? <laughs> well, don't ask me that. That's another funny story. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, so oh, right, here we go. Then. <laughs> in Ayrshire last weekend, me, Chris, obviously John's laddie, Chris, and um, his pal Connor, we went out for breakfast and um, ordered a full breakfast. Thought nothing of it. Thought right, that's it. Like I don't have to say anything else. And the guy caught me off guard. He's like, "How do you like your eggs?" <laughs> on the spot and the first thing I could think of was how a steak's cooked obviously like so you're medium rare so I said oh just a wee bit runny mate that'll do rather than saying scrambled poach whatever so it caught me a wee bit off guard which is another uh, another quite a special moment um, which I did it caught me completely off guard I have to say myself but I Chris wouldn't let me live that day all weekend he thought it was really really funny There'll be some local paper saying the, the winner of the voice likes runny eggs. <laughs> <laughs> we actually we thought about putting on the form for this morning, uh, for the early game. Yeah. But we thought we will put semi finalists because we thought if we put the winner then somebody will be able to Google it. And so uh, <laughs> but we thought against Googling it. We thought, it I don't know what's good, it? We thought it'd be too embarrassing, but yeah. um, no <laughs> it's funny now. <laughs> <laughs> Five one three ends. Remember the first set was tied. John's got all to do the second set. Looks like he's lost his weight a little bit. Just a bit he's short. Of, yeah, he's not too bad. He's running further than I thought. I thought he was struggling there. Yeah, it's not far off the shot. Brett's same same as me, just avoiding the ditch side. Yeah. Just playing the left side all the time. Obviously good bowlers just do that. It's not, not bad either, either. Just the grip. Grip is very, very good. Can we go close? That was another thing with the stickers as well, the first game. I had white stickers, the guy against my silver stickers, the, the guy came up to me, who's yellow, who's blue? I was like, you choose me, <laughs> I don't know. It's good to see a lot of spectators this weekend as well. A lot of folk come down to watch. It's good, it's good that they support the club as well. I mean, ah, exactly, even the ones that are out, they're still staying to watch. Yeah. A couple of pints. 
I mean, there's been a few times where I've watched when Jason's doing the stream and there's one man and his dog left in. Aye. Which, it's not the same. Which is especially disappointment for the lad, all the work that he's put in. Definitely, especially for what's at stake as well. The chance to get in the main stage. Yeah. The, old, the, the, the proper stage for bowling, that's yeah. the thing. Yeah. It means a lot to a lot of folk. Oh, Brett on the line. Very well played. Yeah. Everything's fell One against there. John, I think. Very close, that John. Uh, I think Bernie's been put up after this morning's episode. <laughs> <laughs> and it's strange as well, mate. I just noticed that they're both playing with black balls. I can. I know. It's unusual nowadays. You yeah. always see folk with colour balls now. Myself, also, I've got the trifecta balls, three different colours in oh, one. Oh, I can't watch them. However, the ones yeah. I've got are a wee bit better, they, they sort of blend. Right. They, they're no, they're yeah. no like flashing colours. If you've got solid, col solid colours like a yellow or a white, it, it's, yeah. no, it's no very no very appealing. Oh. Um, but no, mine are too bad, they sort of blend in together, it's, it's a wee bit better. Well, I never caught you off guard earlier, that was the main thing. It wasn't too bad. Oh, no. <laughs> We would have got pelters in the comments if it had been. Yeah. Just like that, uh, trying to find the angle there, seeing as John's decided to stand in front of the camera. <laughs> I tried my best to see it the way the camera is. Oh, you were spot on. That's fine. I, 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 did, I did try my best. I knew, obviously, to Jason be honest, said it. Probably John's the first that, that's been standing in front of I know when we, we started doing the the stream and outdoors it was would have been something new people couldn't grasp yep to stand either side and there's always the odd one that i just right in the middle of the ring stand in the middle arms crossed i like I'm to watch the world come <laughs> over, yeah in the end we just threw our hands up and down yeah well, ah, there's not much you can do about it you can't force them to play the game the no. way the way that you want them to Close for a minute, right? John hasn't been chasing this one up. John looks narrow with this one. I don't know if he's playing for that ball. He's under it anyway. <laughs> Measure for the shot. Oh, by his call. <laughs> oh, that's cricket. <laughs> <laughs> Big shot this one. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Six one, five two, four ends. Massive difference, especially in set play. With this tied first set. You know what it is? It's now five past seven, and I've actually just noticed. That they've, they've put the one above to see who won the first sets. No, <laughs> oh, I've mean, only just. <laughs> I've only just. I have to say, when I played my first game, I was wondering. I was like, I wonder how they know I've won the first set. But to be fair, I never seen it my first game, but I have noticed it since. I have to say. Yeah. Uh, obviously, my second set, I was one one set doing it. I couldn't even know see it. <laughs> so, what is it makes you not want to play in the PBA? What? Why would you not want to? I but didn't enjoy singles now, I, I get frustrated. Not even the pairs? Try the PBA pairs? No, I, I, it's just, I don't know, it's just something that hasn't tickled me fancy. I think it's, that competitive standard now is just a little bit. Uh, yeah, ah, it's a high standard, I have to yeah. say. It's, I think David Bolt's won his game, a fellow podcast man. I think he's off already. Is he done? Yeah, I think so. He was lying for the last end, they won. Them lovely podcast stickers that we've now got. <laughs> yeah, add some of the the fit balls. Bulls fit. Bulls fit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The ones that Jason Jason forced me to put them on. The forced you to put <laughs> yeah. them on. You will put them on. I'll be waiting on my check for the the sponsorship deal. I know. <laughs> right, yeah. I never really quite grasped what the the Bulls fit was. I didn't right. really know what it was to be honest. I knew Jason obviously had a part in playing it but I wasn't really sure what it was. The stickers don't fit the Bulls are far too big. Big uh, they are <laughs> yeah. they are a large sticker like <laughs> it's 
especially if you sort of like playing with size ones and twos. Oh yeah. Well, I was lucky enough to I was playing with fours to be honest, but uh, I wouldn't imagine playing with ones with him. from Brett again. John's going after uh, magic something up here, I think. John needs to find a couple of shots here somewhere. Plays at a local club at Ardrossan in, our, in Scotland, the West Coast. We've got a decent decent squad, Ardrossan. Obviously, Paul Foster recently started playing there. Right. Uh, his local indoor press, which shut down. Same like said, Darren Weir. Obviously, Darren had to go uh, across to Ardrossan as well. Local, local went to him uh -huh. uh, with Presswick shutting. Had to go along and play with, like said, John. Obviously, his son Chris Carswell. Um, Jack Montgomery and stuff. It's a good club, our Justin. Really good carpet, actually. Uh, better than my carpet, anyway. Meadow Mill's not very good. He's no. holding No, it's not the best carpet. Some people like it. I, I personally don't. Um, I'd rather come down and play somewhere like here, like Stanley. So right. much better. Um, it's not quite the same. But I, our Justin have got a strong team this year. Yeah. And like the CIS Cup, which is obviously the men's team. Play every every county. John's just wanting to hurry. That, oh. yeah. Still one down. Almost got a result out of it, but as you say, just one down. Julian, if you're still watching, Jack Lockhart lost. Looks like it was in two sets. I think he got beat two 0 Yeah. Yeah. As Dean said, uh, my right hand man, Mr. Bolt, got through. Looks like two in straight sets. Guy from my local club, Stuart Thompson. I don't know how he's getting on, to be honest. I don't know if he's one set up or one set down. He's playing a uh, guy from our Justin as well, right. or Air, Air anyway, uh, David Crawford. Two Scottish guys. I don't know how they're getting on. Brett, are you going to cover the spot or are you putting another one in? Looks on a narrower line, I wouldn't say he's covering the spot just now. Good, oh, I've seen that. It's a bit of a tee. No. It's not wasted there anyway. Mm -hmm. Any contact in the top side of the bowl, the jack spreading it that way as well, so. Covers all areas. Big ball on this for John. Lifts that ball out, maybe to get a double. Please. Yeah, really needs the ball to sell solid. He's looking out, he's chasing it. Needs to run by, he's close. He fancies oh, it. He got the wrong side oh, of it. Oh, he he's unlucky. Anything. Oh. I found that as well. Playing with sort of that, that couple of yards over, they just they just go away quicker than you think. Yeah. It's uh, it's tricky to play these shots. As it is anywhere indoor, to be honest, yeah. but I found especially here, even in practice, I thought, I'm not even going to try that. It's a draw or a drive, really. Well, 7 1, 5 ends. <laughs> well done, David. Congratulations, mate. I lost my job. <laughs> oh, you're out. You're out, mate. You're out. Hope I'm not embarrassing you too much in the podcast. <laughs> we forgot about the bowling we were yep, talking about. The lady about the next door was Chloe Thompson. A nice out in Ayrshire and stuff. Crack and start from Brett. Aye, good first ball for Brett. Two wins, looking for six. And he's at at least two threes. I got a gun out of jail free card the last end of the first set. Did you? Yeah. I only seen I only seen your last end really. I've seen a couple of ends here and there, but every time I looked over you were lying, I assumed you were I assumed you were winning. Um, caught it too hard to be fair, but it's dropped and stuck right on the back of mine, leaving his three. 
And here is target, but he's cut the side of the ball and ran out to the edge of the ring. So oh, I think he plays at the same club as um, John actually. I think he plays at the same club as John. Yeah, yeah. Thomas Coombe. Uh, he plays at the same club as John. John. Relatively close to the side ditch, but it could be a good line if he's got the good weight. Just struggling. Needs at least a double, doesn't it? Yeah, at least. Yeah, yeah double leaves him four to tie the match. Looks unlikely just now, it looks a struggle. So this, ball, this ball passes here, eh? Uh, yeah, well played. Depending on John's ball here, it yeah. could be checkmate. A little double at it. It's just a blade high. It's his own ball as well, it's not the best scenario for John. It's off the rank. Strolls to make a double out of that now. If he does make the double, he needs a four the last end. Yeah. Not the best scenario to be in, especially against Brett on his home carpet. Yeah. Probably only got the little trail on the white guy, hasn't he? It's yeah. Needs to Pull it back to where the number seven is on the t on the screen at the minute, maybe. I and hope that Brett's ball doesn't go through with it as well. That's right, yeah. Um, tricky, tricky shot. When are you next on, David? Straight away. I don't know who's been in here in rank five. John's played his last ball just now. Quick. Looks just gone. narrow. Brett goes through, Go Brett Hartley. Hey, Ark goes on. Win for Brett. Good game. Well, mate, it's been a pleasure having you. Yeah, it's been a pleasure to be yeah, here. I mean, really can, enjoyed it. You can stay on, you know. I'd, I'd love to stay, stay on, I have to say it. One, I um, Davey's going back out. Obviously, uh, my wee sister's playing, I would love to stay on, yeah. but. I don't know if she'll let me. <laughs> see what uh, see. We'll see who gets gets the ring yet. But anyway, anyway, folks, we'll um, we'll be back with session eight, um, probably in about ten minutes. Again, thanks for watching. We hope you're enjoying it, and we'll see you in a little bit.